boy oh boy have I been away for a while. Pretty sure I'm, I'm pretty sure my analytics are just fine. Not even worried about it. Not even worried. But enough about me, let's just dive into the tunes. Did y'all know that they're rebooting the Rugrats? You know that show with the lovable babies with their 90s hijinks? Actually, <laughs> I wonder, <laughs> I wonder is, is there Rugrats Rule 34? I'm glad to check this out. Please, please let me be wrong. That's uh, six million years worth of trauma. <laughs> but nonetheless, they're rebooting the show. 26 sweet, sweet new episodes for Nickelodeon. But that's not what I'm trying to talk about. Nickelodeon, in addition to making the 26 new episodes, <laughs> are making a live action movie with the babies being CGI. <laughs> Lord, please take us now. Oh. No, no, I'm no film expert. I'm, I'm, I'm no Harvey Weinstein. But I'm pretty sure this ain't gonna translate well into CGI. That's just me. I think a large percentage of Hollywood niggas don't know why cartoons exist in the first place. Cartoons make it easier for you to suspend your disbelief because the aspects of reality have been stripped away from it. Just think about it. Just really, really think about it. It. Think how crazy the shit we actually watch with cartoons and anime as well. What if a purple dog that was capable of speech is able to fight off the the, 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 the essentials of hell basically just to protect an elderly family that live in the middle of buttfuck nowhere? What if a boy frozen in an iceberg had the ability to manipulate earth, air, fire and water at his will to do whatever he wants. What if tentacles just started clapping cheeks? But how are you gonna make this how are you gonna make this model 3D? Like <laughs> come on. Look at the top of his head. <laughs> Speaking of tragic pieces of fiction, oh my god, darling in the Franks. Oh my god. Waste his time 2K18. This show went from a 10 out of 10 to Hiroshima real quick. Like this show just literally told everyone to go suck its dick and balls like after episode 18. Let me just let me just paint a picture for you what watching the last few episodes of Darling in the Franks was like. Uh you're in your room, minding your own business, you know, doing your thing, trying to you're trying to bust a nut, trying to bust an over, you know, as you do. Holding up your phone with your left hand, watching that sweet, sweet squish. But then all of a sudden Thanos bursts through the door and starts slapping your booty with the infinity gauntlet. That's what watching the final episodes of Darling in the Franks was like. How do we go from this? To this. Fuck you. Who are these aliens? Where did they come from? Why didn't this Kalaxo bitch tell these niggas that the aliens were coming? Why is Futoshi the biggest cuck I have ever seen in any anime? Boring hentai. On a side note, can we just talk about how Kokoro kinda sorta almost definitely kinda raped Mitsuru? Like, is there no one talking about this? And she just climbed on this boy with this look in her eyes. <laughs> Those eyes are the eyes of a person who has seen meat after being starved for eons. <laughs> this, this is what it's like inside here. This is what I get inside here. It's just like... <laughs> oh god, I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh yeah, and the adventure time ended. Yay. <laughs> I, I gave up watching a long time ago. We, we only talk about seasons of one through five. Everything after that was just ooh. Mm. The vampire and the mutant finally kissed. I, I only know this because of the amount of porn in my timeline. <laughs> but you know your boy ain't complaining. <laughs> Titties on the timeline? Hell yeah. In conclusion, anime was a mistake and we should all start watching Family Guy again. <laughs> No, 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 we fucking shouldn't. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for spending five minutes every day with me. You could have spent it doing anything else better in your life, but you decided to spend it here. You could have cured cancer, but you stayed with me. <laughs> and I love you for it. <laughs> Until next time, you know what's up. Never grow up.